Now we will discuss about operation of n-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. So this operation is divided into several cases. First we are starting from case 1. When no voltages are applied, that is the MOSFET is going to be simply kept open. So no terminals are going to be connected to voltages. And this case is going to be treated as MOSFET is under open circuit condition. So whenever no voltages are going to be connected, this is the MOSFET. So source gate drain which are not connected to any voltages. So there will be no channel formation and there is no current flows since no voltage has been applied. So ID is equal to 0 even VDS is applied because of this one. If you try to apply VDS also because of no channel, no drain current. Case 2. So we must enhance channel first channel is going to be enhanced with the help of voltage applying at gate so we are applying gate voltage that gate voltage we can apply either positive voltage or negative voltage which voltage is going to be inducing the voltage inducing the channel that we will discuss first we are going with vg is equal to negative voltage applied vg gate voltage we are applying negative whenever we are applying negative voltage negative gate gate voltage is negative that negative is going to be attracting the positive charge carriers which are in the p type substrate in p type substrate positive charge carriers are nothing but holes the holes are going to be attracted towards gate side since gate is negative but the meanwhile below this gate what you are getting is thin oxide layer that is SiO2 silicon dioxide which act as insulator so that is going to be stopping the holes and holes are going to be accumulated over here holes are accumulated near this SiO2 layer so previously the channel consisting of holes now also the channel region is going to be consisting of more number of holes so till now there is no channel has been formed if there is a channel at that time there is a collect current flow from N plus to N plus drain so no channel has been formed this mode is going to be named as accumulation mode and dominant charge in channel region is holes channel region is nothing but space between drain and source so in that space what you are getting is nothing but holes so dominant charge in ho channel region is holes so till now there is no channel is created ID is equal to 0 even VDS is applied so drain current will be zero even if you apply the drain to source voltage so one conclusion is nothing but we cannot apply the negative voltage for NMOS enhancement mode transistor and so that we must apply positive voltage which is attracting the electrons so that a channel is going to be formed between drain and source similarly in case of PMOS we cannot, we cannot apply positive voltage so we should apply negative voltage to create a channel of holes third case when gate voltage we are applying is positive so here we are going with the gate voltage is going to be small positive voltage when we apply small positive voltage small positive voltage is nothing but which can attract only small number of negative charge carriers negative charge carriers in p-type substrate are nothing but electrons which are minority carriers in the substrate so the minority carriers in the substrate of p-type are nothing but electrons which will be attracted towards gate whenever they are attracting towards gate at that time they are going to moving in this direction and they will recombine with the holes present in the channel region so whole electron recombinations will take place because of that one a negative ion is going to be results so channel region now consisting of negative ions ions are going to be immobile in nature so they don't move so they are staying over in the channel region itself for small positive voltage only ions will be created in the channel region so that ions is going to be the region which will be consisting of ions is treated as depletion region depletion is nothing but removing removal of charge carriers so that is treated as depletion region 
so this is nothing but weak inversion region it is also called as or subthreshold region in this case vgs is less than vtn okay you may be getting small number of electrons but that is not sufficient enough to create the channel which can result in current conduction so that it is treated as weak inversion region and this is also called as subthreshold region because the gate voltage what we are applying is less than threshold voltage in this case also drain current is negligibly small so we are assuming it as zero so even if you apply vds the current results is zero next when gate to source voltage is large positive voltage when vgs is large positive voltage this is the fourth case here if you apply large positive voltage it can attract large number of negative charge carriers so large number of minority carriers on the p type substrate are attracted towards are attracted towards channel side so since the ions are going to be immobile in nature but the electrons are going to be attracted by this positive charge so electrons are going to be attracted and it is going towards gate side which cannot go to gate because of insulation layer SiO2 layer so that they are accumulated just near the SiO2 layer as like this these are the small dots implies nothing but electrons staying in the just below SiO2 layer this is going to be this layer is going to be treated as inversion layer why it is treated as inversion layer previously whenever we are not applying any voltage at gate at that time this region is consisting of holes now after application of sufficient positive voltage this region is now consisting of electrons previously holes now it is electrons electrons are opposite of holes that's why it is going to be treated as inversion layer a layer with opposite charge carriers so in this case it is n type this case is going to be treated as strong inversion region here channel is enhanced so a channel is created between n plus and n plus so a current can flow from n plus source to n plus drain or n plus drain to n plus source like this so how much gate to source voltage you must apply to create the channel that is what called as threshold voltage threshold voltage is indicated with vt with suffix n for n mass suffix p for p mass threshold voltage defined like this is the minimum amount of gate to source voltage required to enhance a channel else drain current will be zero even vds is applied so this is a minimum amount of voltage you must apply minimum positive voltage the two you must apply at gate so that a channel is induced between drain and source otherwise drain current will be zero even vds is applied next case now the case implies nothing but here we are assuming channel is created so in this case vgs is greater than vt and vgs what we are applying is fixed voltage that is greater than vt which is ensuring channel is created now we are considering towards drain to source voltage a small vds is applied small vds in the sense we are going with this assumption vds is less than vgs minus vt whatever the fixed vgs minus vt we are going with we are applying less than that voltage as drain to source vgs minus vt is treated as effective gate voltage or it is also called as gate overdrive voltage how much you are applying more voltage than threshold gate overdrive voltage or effective gate voltage this is a situation results when vds is less than vgs minus vt that is drain is more positive than source this is fixed and vds you are applying whenever we are applying like this at that time drain and source both are n plus regions only and p type substrate is going to be this one it is connected with both n plus regions so more positive voltage is applying towards positive drain side 
more negative voltage is applying towards source side so whenever you are going in this way this is a pn junction this is also a pn junction this pn junction is more reverse bias since n side you are applying more positive voltage whereas source side less positive voltage so drain side it is more reverse bias source side it is less reverse biased more reverse bias is nothing but more depletion region less reverse bias is nothing but less depletion region more depletion region is nothing but during this channel depletion region dominates and less number of charge carriers in this case less reverse bias is nothing but less depletion region more number of charge carriers you will get at source end so at drain end less number of minority carriers and more depletion region and as you are moving towards source side number of carriers are increases and depletion region reduces this region is treated as active region or linear region or triode region so whenever vds is less than vgs minus vt at that time the mosfet is said to be in active region here id is going to be function of both vds as well as vgs and id varies linearly with vds linearly implies as vds increases id increases as vds decreases id decreases how it is linearly increases we will go with practically what actually happens inside as vds increases electric field increases electric field can be calculated as vds by l it is in ds it is written it is vds actually okay vds by l and when electric field increases at that time drift velocity of charge carriers increases drift velocity can be calculated with this formula v is equal to mu into electric field as electric field increases v increases so whenever electric whenever velocity drift velocity of charge carriers increases at that time current density increases current density increase is nothing but drain current increases so as vds increases electric field increases which results in increased drift velocity that increase that results in increased current density as well as drain current so as vds increases id increases the equation for active region drain current equation for active region is id is equal to beta into vgs minus vt into vds minus vds square by 2 and this equation can be Mm, assume like this since vds is less than vgs minus vt vds square is going to be very very small so id can be approximated as beta into vgs minus vt into vds in linear region here output resistance can be calculated in the active region as output resistance is nothing but r naught small signal output resistance do v naught by do v naught by do i naught here v naught output is nothing but output voltage is vds do vds by do id that you can write as 1 by do id by do vds that is nothing but 1 by beta into vgs minus vt next case case 6 vgs greater than vt and large vds are applied previous case is vgs greater than vt we are ensuring channel is created and a small VDS applied but now large VDS applied that large VDS we are starting from first case as VDS is equal to VGS minus VT in that case pinch of voltage pinch of region this is going to be treated as pinch of point where the number of charge carriers are totally depleted at drain end this is pinch of point at drain end when vds is equal to vgs minus vt that is treated as starting point of saturation region since that voltage is sufficient enough to deplete all the charge carriers from drain end since gate voltage effective gate voltage and drain voltage are going to be same and that reverse bias is sufficient enough to deplete all the charge carriers at the drain end so only what is results is 
negative ions that's why vgs minus vt is also called as vds saturation vds saturation is nothing but minimum amount of vds required to keep the transistor in saturation when vds applied is greater than vgs minus vt this is second case in this last by the time drain is more reverse biased whenever it is more reverse biased it is depleting the negative charge carriers so now more reverse bias more depletion region more depletion region is making pinch of point to move towards source end pinch of point is now moving towards source end previously it was at drain end but now it is moving if you apply more and more vds this pinch of point is going towards source side and it may touch the source end by that time that is treated as pinch of condition <coughs> So this is treated as saturation region. So a transistor is said to be in saturation when VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. And during the saturation region, drain current is constant even though VDS is increases. So like this, if VDS is greater than VGS minus VT, then ID is constant. That implies ID is not a function of VDS ID is only depending on VGS minus VT so here we are writing ID is equal to function of VGS minus VT equation for ID in saturation region is beta by 2 into VGS minus VT whole square from this equation we calculate output impedance under saturation region output impedance is nothing but R0 dou VDS by dou ID even though VDS changes, drain current doesn't affect. Since drain current is independent of VDS, we can write delta VDS by zero, that is infinite. Ideally, output impedance is infinite in saturation region. Thank you.